whether you have a live Christmas tree or an artificial tree, between getting your house decorated, all the presents going under the tree, and just the tinsel and glitter of the season having a chance to fall onto your floor. Your floors are taking a beating this time of year, so it's the perfect time for us to check in with Ashley Farrar at Molly Maid, who said, and I quote, I can talk floors all day long. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> you might be the only one who can, Ashley, but I think it's interesting because you said, you know, I don't want to focus so much on the products you want to use, more the right method to use, I guess, depending on the type of floor you're cleaning. Is that right? Exactly. So no matter what type of floor you have, and you really should research, you know, through the manufacturer what's safe to use on your floor. When we come to a home, we have five different products that we can use on floors. So that would be a lot to go through. So I thought we would talk more about the method. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you're starting, we always like to either sweep or vacuum first because that's going to get up the debris off the floor and make your mopping area a lot easier. So as far as vacuums go, you always want to make sure that you've got a fresh bag in there. So we've got a new bag in there. And you can tell when your bag's full because you'll start losing suction. You also want to make sure that the bottom of the vacuum cleaner, that this beater bar spins. If it's not rotating, then it's not going to help pull any of the debris up off the floor. Can I ask you something right now about the, the beater bar? Um, if you do not get a quality vacuum cleaner, is that where you're going to notice the difference in that beater bar? Do you know what I'm talking about? How some of them just get locked up really early on in their use and then they're no good for you. Well, and a lot of that can be fixed by just taking the vacuum apart and seeing what's clogging it. Okay. So I think a lot of people dismiss their vacuum cleaners and throw them away and get a new one, which they're not cheap. If they would just maintain them, and maybe, you know, take the Phillips head screwdriver or flathead, take the bottom of it off and see why it's not working. Okay. You might just have a broken belt. That's like $1.99. Oh. Versus spending $299 on a whole new vacuum cleaner. And when you mentioned the bag and not having the bag full, you like to keep it no more than like half full, don't you, Ashley? Yes, ma'am. After you reach that, you know, half full point, you're going to start losing your suction. I mean, it's basic science. You know, the air is having to flow through more debris the more you fill up the bag. Mm -hmm. So if you change it after about halfway full, you're going to notice a lot more in your section. Okay, I'll be quiet now. You can continue. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. So we've got our, I like to do a basic upright. We've checked our bag. We've made sure that it's not full. And then also what you want to do, and I'm not going to do this for very long because it's fairly loud, is you want to make sure that this is spinning when you turn it on. So if I just pop it on real quick. We had a solid spinning rotation. Mm -hmm. So that means it's going to sweep up the debris into the bag for you. Okay. That's for carpet. And I usually like to start at the furthest part of the room and work towards the entry door. And then we've got hardwood floors and linoleum. We've got different products for that, too. If you don't want to get out your vacuum cleaner, you can always you know, sweep the floors, get the extra debris out, because you don't want to mop the debris, if you know what I mean, Julia. Yeah. And then we've got our lovely... I like to use the Lidman Wonder Mops because they're washable and reusable. And that's going to help save you money. A lot of people like to use the disposable products. And I think that's fine for a quick mess. But if you're actually going to be vacuuming your entire, or mopping your entire home, mm -hmm. this is going to be a lot more economical for you. Can you show me something, Ashley? Okay, never mind. You're doing it right now. Can you hold up the end of that Libman mop so I can see what the... Yeah. <laughs> Without destroying your house. Okay, the fibers of that mop are different from a sponge mop, right? Aren't they going to pick up better? With a little bit of the microfiber in them. So it picks up better, right? And they're going to be more durable for you as okay. well. Okay. So, and then a lot of the string mops, they kind of make a mess. They start shedding. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're you know, leaving hair everywhere, but it's not hair. It's mop. <laughs> so, you always want to start 
and just do nice long motions back and forth. And you want to go out of the room. Okay. And then you clean your mop, squeeze it out again. Now, another option for you, and we do love these big microfiber flat mops. These are great to dry your floors with. Okay. The so, third. Nice S motion as you're drying your floors. And then these microfiber pads, these are washable as well. So again, take this right off. Right. Put it in the washing machine. Now okay. you do want to be careful to wash your cleaning products separate than your clothing. Okay. Because want any of your cleaning products, you know, some products right. have bleach, things like that. So you want to make sure that you're washing them separately than your everyday clothes and towels. Okay. So you've given us three great options. I'll offer people a fourth because we have to wrap it up. And that is wrap up a gift of Molly May. Y'all do gift certificates, don't you, Ashley? Yes, ma'am. You can go to mollymay.com and get a gift certificate. And we're all over the country. So see if there's a Molly made in your grandmother's location or in your family member's location. And you can get them a gift certificate for Molly made in their hometown. Okay, and here's how you do it. You can go to mollymade.com locally, call 892-MAID. They are right here on Brainerd Road. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Have a great day.